Good Saturday to you. Welcome to episode 65, Steam Smokehouse. Today I'm going to do something else I've never done. Really, I don't think I've ever cooked shrimp. Uh, I'm going to devein it. I'm going to get it all prepped, washed, and so forth. And we're going to do it on the pit barrel cooker on a cedar plank. And I'm also going to throw some wings in there. We're going to brine them, and I'll show you the brining solution in just a moment. And we're going to cook them PVC way, like we did way back when uh, my son did the taste test last summer with me about six months ago. Hard to believe it was that long ago anyway. It's a pleasure to join you, and if you'll stay with me for a moment, we'll get busy. So I have our wings in the brining solution, and basically, of course, we've got our wings. I've got distilled water. I've quartered a garlic head. That's the whole head with everything. Uh, quartered up a jalapeno pepper, and cut some onions up and put them in there. I put a generous portion of uh, kosher salt in it, and I put uh, several black peppercorns in it. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours to brine away until we get the pit barrel cooker fired up and we can prepare it. Here is the second half of our cook for the pit barrel cooker today. These are big jumbo shrimp. I think they're 13 to 16 count per pound. I'll devein them, I'll clean them twice. I'm going to get them ready to put in the marinade. And the marinade I'm going to use is Margaritaville jerk marinade. I got at my uh, local grocery store. And orange juice. So I'm going to get all these uh, put in the marinade here in just a minute. I'm going to let them sit there for about an hour. I'm going to get the pit barrel cooker fired up. And then we'll get cooking. I left our wings intact. I uh, used all-purpose pit rub on everything. You've seen me do both sides. You didn't have to see that. I had to fire up the pit barrel grill in a hurry because, again, uh, daylight saving time is over and my window of darkness is enclosing upon me. So I'll be right back with you. Don't know if you've ever tried jerk shrimp before, but man, this stuff smells great. I'm getting ready to put it on the PVC. I've got it all marinated. Uh, our chicken wings are already out there cooking, and this won't take long to cook, but I'm gonna put it on a cedar plank and put it outside. I'll be right back. We are shooting at night. Uh, lost all from light, and this is our shrimp, and these are our wings. So, I moved some light out here. I hope it's uh, clear to you, and I'll be keeping you updated as the cook progresses. Looking pretty cool. I'm gonna take one more dark picture and then the next picture you see will be the food finished. Oh yeah. Ha, looking great. The wings are pretty much done. I'm just kind of letting them sit there until the uh, shrimp gets done. So I'll be back with you shortly. Here's a flashlight view of our cook. In a moment, I'll show you an infrared view of our cook. It's actually pretty cool. So this is infrared. I've never posted a video in infrared, but it's actually kind of cool. It's like black and white with a heat signature. Pretty cool. Well, for all the work that went into the shrimp, it actually came out really good. Uh, they taste, smell, and look delicious. They are awesome. Uh, the wings came out great. Everything I do in the pit barrel cooker, and it's not, <laughs> it's not without my effort, but the pit barrel cooker just really just does a great job. It's a, an amazing, uh, amazing item to cook with. Please give me a thumbs up, and I thank you for watching Team Smokehouse, and I'll see you next time.